Now, hydrogen bonds are important in chemistry because they're strong enough to bond it together. In chemistry, a chemical bond is a force that holds two atoms together, essentially. You can think of H2O being water. There's bonds holding those oxygen uh, and hydrogen atoms together. Same thing here, there's just more atoms that are bonded. But hydrogen bonding is just strong enough to keep it bonded, but also not super strong. Why do you think a DNA molecule right down the middle, because every, every one of these connection points functions as a zipper, why do you think it's important that these bonds here, these hydrogen bonds, are not that strong? Well, because DNA needs to be able to separate. That's how uh, the cells multiply and how the DNA molecule copies itself. We're not going to get into the copying mechanism. The copying mechanism for DNA is quite complicated, but basically what happens is it unzips itself so that you have two halves of DNA, and you can kind of imagine these two pieces floating apart, but since we know that all of the thymines always connect to an adenine, and all of the uh, cytosines connect to a guanine, and the guanines to the cytosine and so on, once the thing unzips and you have two separate halves, then new molecules can come in and connect to the connection points and make two completely new double helix twisted pairs. I'm going to say that one more time because even though I'm not going to explain the copying process in detail here, it's, this is the core of why DNA is the way it is. Because the hydrogen bonds in the middle are just strong enough to hold it together, but they can be weakened during the copying process so the molecule can split apart. Once it splits apart, you have the ba base pairs on one half, and the connection point is now severed, and then you have the base pairs on the other half. Now you have two freely floating, independent half DNA molecules, but then new uh, uh, nucleotide bases can come in and connect to the attach points, because remember, A's always get connected to T's, T's to A's, A's to T's, and C's and G's always get connected together. So once you have two halves of a DNA, new uh, nucleotides can come in and build the other half of the DNA helix, and now you have two completely uh, independent double helix DNA molecules with a complete copy of the original because it unzips and then the new ones can only go into this pattern with how the nucleotides are connected in there. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.